Hey guys, welcome back to Chit Chat Tuesday. We are on to more TikTok drama. Okay, so this isn't just necessarily TikTok drama though, because I think these who I'm about to talk to talk about, I think they have a YouTube. Okay. All right. First and foremost, I'm gonna put a picture here. This is Bebop and BB. Okay. You can find a plethora of videos on the internet of people talking about them. Apparently, this is not a new thing. This is this is something that's been going on for a while. Um, so, here we go. All right. Again, I'm going to go ahead and say I do not know everything about the situation. These are just my opinions and what I've gathered from hearing other people talk about their opinions. So, let's get started. Bebop and BB, they do very strange videos. In my opinion, I think they're strange. It's like a mother and a daughter, and they do like lip lip syncing videos over on TikTok. I think they do like vloggy type things over on YouTube. I really haven't watched their YouTube. Uh, but what... The problem is overall on TikTok, I think. For the most part, I think that's where most of like the questions started arising. So we've got, let's see, I think BB is the mother and Bebop is the daughter, which first of all, is that really her name? That's weird, so strange. Second of all, this little girl appears to be anywhere, I would say from eight, to 11 maybe she's not a very large child but it's hard to tell in the videos also because she always has on a full face of makeup now if you want to see her without a full face of makeup you can go over to youtube where i did find a video where she doesn't have on makeup she just looks like a little girl they're in a store or something also airplane so you can see her without makeup on, but over on TikTok, from what I can tell, she always has on a full face of makeup. She's always wearing like wigs and these weird dresses or costumes. Just, it's very strange in my opinion. I'm not gonna post any of their TikToks because it's not my content to share. I will I will post like, like screenshots from their stuff, but I don't know she's a child and I'm just I'll give you a picture that's it you know I just don't feel comfortable sharing someone else's child that's just weird um but there have been many questions people first are saying well I've seen where people think that Bebop is a little girl that went missing saying like they kidnapped her or took her or something and they are holding her hostage, I guess, in a sense. Uh, I don't know. To me, she doesn't really look like the little girl that they're saying that she could be. If I can find a photo, I will insert it, you know. But I personally don't think that she looks like the little girl that they're saying that she could be. There's also questions because in later, or like older videos, there was a brother. He is nowhere to be found anymore. He has kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, I don't know if it ever shows a dad. I have no idea. People are saying that they think that the mom and the daughter are being held against their will. I don't know why anyone would hold someone against their will, though, and then force them to make TikToks. That's weird to me, but whatever. And then people are saying that the little girl's being held against her will and being forced to make TikToks. People are saying that the little girl's being forced to make TikToks to make money, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, it's all just such a strange situation. I personally, uh, there have been TikToks, people are leaving comments like, wear blue in the next, in the next video if you need help. Wear red. Guys, we can't go by that because seriously, if you look through the comments underneath videos, there are so many different colors that people say to wear. There's so many different things that they say to do, but the most recent was 
I want to say, somebody said in the comments, say watermelon if you need help. Then they posted a TikTok of them singing a song where the word watermelon is said a couple of different times. And they even use the same little heart emojis that the person left with their comment. People are like, oh my gosh, they need help. Me personally, I think that the mother is exploiting this situation for views because people are flocking to their TikTok. People are going there. I went there. They're flocking there. They're watching these videos. They're pouring through it. They're trying to find the weird speaker in the corner of the room. They're trying to see the fact that the room looks like it's been split into two and it's like two different sets. Um, this over here is like a purple and then there's one with like vines on the wall or something. It clearly, the room doesn't look like a bedroom. It looks like a bedroom, but you can tell that it's not like lived in. Nothing ever moves. The toys stay in the same places. And like, I don't care how well you clean up after your kids or how organized of a child you have. Like the stuff never ends up in the exact same spot. If you know what I mean, if you have children, you know, like that's not how things go. So it's just very strange. But me personally, I feel like they're wearing these colors. They're saying these trigger words. They're doing this stuff for attention, for views. To be honest, I feel like that's what's happening. And people are are buying into it hook, line, and sinker. I, I don't know. I personally, I, I hope that's what it is. I hope that they're just doing this for views and they aren't being held against their will. I hope the little girl is really the daughter of this woman and this weird set is just a room in their their house that they decided to decorate for these videos I mean I have a room in my house that I use for videos so it's not far-fetched I don't know like if you know a lot about the bebop and bb thing because I'm new to digging into all of this like what what do you think because I don't I don't really know what to think because in one minute I'm watching and I'm like it seems so weird and so fishy. First of all, I don't even know why people are watching them and how they even got large. I'm not trying to judge, but like the lip syncing is subpar. The, the lips don't move to the words half of the time. They are very stiff in their movements. It's very awkward and very strange. So part of me kind of wonders that they have this plan from the beginning to be so strange and so weird they caught people's attention. By simply being odd I don't know also I do I do believe they live in the United States which at first I thought maybe they lived in a different country and that's why it was so strange because they weren't from the US and so I'm gauging by Americans like how we act and they're not here but I saw something that said they live in like Georgia or something like that and so I was really thrown because I was like what? So I don't, I don't know. And the fact that there was a brother, but he's disappeared and people have linked him saying, linked him to photos of a boy that's around the same age. And these are all estimates because we don't know how old these children are because we're just going by like their looks, their appearance, their height, whatever, like a guesstimation of age. But they were saying that the boy looked a lot like another little boy that had gone missing um, so, great, I, I don't know, tell me what you think, I, I have no idea, I have no idea what to think, to be honest, because one minute I'm like, oh, they're just doing it for, for views and stuff, and then the next minute, I'm like, but what if they really do need help, I don't know, it's weird, and it's crazy, and it's kind of creepy. To this point, at this point, every time I see anything of theirs, it's like a major creep factor. It, like, really creeps me out. It's, it's really strange, to say the least. Just because their videos just have a lot of creepiness, it's almost like 
I equate it to, you know how you find like a porcelain doll really creepy, especially if it's moving on its own, you know, like an Annabelle type of situation? The little girl, I will say this, whoever puts on her makeup beats her face to filth. Like her makeup looks amazing. But I don't think a little girl should be wearing a full face of makeup like that. Like let her be a little girl. Also, there is the fact that, and I will talk about this in a different video because I have another TikTok drama video coming up next week about this topic, but having your children on TikTok, I don't know if it's the best idea, but let me know what you think about Bebop and BB. Obviously, if you're not on TikTok, you probably have no idea about them. There are videos over here on YouTube. I have watched one that talk about Bebop and BB and different theories and stuff, which is kind of crazy that they have videos about theories about what is going on with them. But it's just, I don't know, it's an interesting case. It's almost like true crime, but we don't even know if a crime has been committed. <laughs> So someone like me, I'm very interested in it. I will continue to dig and look into it. So if I have an update in the future, I might do like an update of a bunch of different videos uh, if that's something you're interested in. But I just, I needed to get my opinion out. Let me know what you think. Do you think that they are just like kind of doing this stuff like wearing certain colors, saying certain words to facilitate what people are thinking? just to get more views and more traction and more people talking about them and sharing their content? Or do you think that they actually are in danger? The fact that they're saying to the little girl, like, Bebop, hey, if you're in danger, if you need help, wear blue. I have a feeling she doesn't get to pick what color she's wearing. So it has to be the mother that's doing this. It can't be the little girl. I seriously doubt she's picking out her own outfits for this. I, I think the mother is... is you know, the, the head behind this TikTok account. But let me know what you think. If you haven't looked into it and you're bored one night, just take a little deep dive and you'll probably be a little interested and a little hooked. And then come back and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm just curious what everybody thinks because it's a little weird to me. I have kids, I have a daughter, and I just don't think I would ever force her, one, to make TikToks with me, but two, I don't know. It's just weird. Put her in a full face of makeup and wigs and like costumes and stuff for TikToks constantly. I don't know. It's weird to me. But anywho, I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so before you go and I will check you guys. And then No, I will not check you guys. I will, I will see you in the next one. Bye.